Do you want to get clean? No. I Why never not? will. I'll never want to stop. That's the truth of it. And I'm probably going to die this way, and that's actually not the worst thing that could happen. Hello, Devin. It's nice to meet you. Hey, how are you? You're here with ATM, ATM Fox and all time media. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Thanks for the opportunity. So, where are you from, Devin? Uh, originally, South Jersey. Um, and then when I was 18, I went to um, Florida and Miami and did some time. And then um, I bounced between New Jersey, uh, Kensington here, and Miami for the uh, past like, uh, six, seven years. Okay. You're from around my way, New Jersey? Yes. South Jersey? Yes. Yeah, that's my name. Also, my, I hate it there. Actually. You hate it? Yeah, I try to get out there as much as I can. How come you don't like it out there? Um, well, um, you know what, I just nothing really there for me, um, you know, I don't really feel, um, like I could really, uh, maneuver over there, when I say maneuver, I mean be self-sufficient, and, um, I just don't think that they, uh, I, I don't, I just don't truly really think that they, uh, really offer what I'm looking for, and that isn't through people, that's through people on, I don't know, a lot more opportunity than they have, I guess that's the music of choice around here, huh? Uh, yeah, I mean, I love rap, rap so. So let, let's start from your childhood. What was that like? Um, well, um, my mom was sick uh, in a lot of different ways. Um, my, my mom um, has a deformity uh, from Agent Orange as well as I do. And um, Agent Orange is a, is, a, is a mustard gas from Vietnam. And um, I also have a deformity as well from Agent Orange. It's hereditary. And um, my mom's uh, life was compromised for uh, quite a bit of time. And uh, I've, I've seen my mom, um, I've seen my mom's intestines from here to her sternum. And um, she is also a drug addict, you know. My mom also is very mentally ill. And um, it's what I say, very mentally. Um, I, before she got on the medicine that she's got on in the past two months, it looked like she was eating bugs in a corner. Um, it's how it's progressed. Um, she was uh, 90 or 80 pounds, and um, speaking to herself, and um, yeah, it's uh, you know, um, and um, my uh, my dad, uh, my dad uh, is a little strict guy, and um, you know, he grew up in the hood, and uh, he did not play no games. He did not want me in the street, and um, I wanted to be in the street, but. Uh, but in the time I was a teenager, and um, you know, uh, by the time I was 15, I was on heroin. And um, my dad was trying to keep me on the street, and uh, you know, um, a lot of things happened because I chose to be there. And, uh, you know, I uh, I was a full-time heroin addict by the time I was 15. Uh, I have a girlfriend named Danielle who's here with me now, and she could attest to that. First off, I'd like to say sorry about the loss of your mother. No, she's not lost. She because she got medicine now. She's okay. she's entering uh, planet Earth. Okay. She's just um, you know I uh, well, I, you know I just don't even know how to um, you know, who are you and how am I supposed to enter this? Yeah. How did you guys uh? It's hereditary, right? The uh, uh, the. The compromisation of Agent Orange is hereditary, and her mental illness could be hereditary. Yeah, and it's it's um, progressive. You got a war veteran in your family. Yeah, my uh, my my uh, my grandpa, but he wasn't really around either 
of them. And you said you were going to that 15? Yeah, I would have never did drugs um, because my parents are drug addicts. Like, my stepmom's a severe drug addict, and my parents are drug addicts. And um, I would have never done drugs, um, but I was a follower and wanted to fit in, and uh, I would have done anything for you to like me. And um, turns out that was heroin. My first drug was heroin. Um, I uh, I went over to this guy's house and um, he had re you know I uh, was sneaking out late and thought I was cool and uh, he's like take this and I'll make you feel like Superman and um, I did and uh, I threw up this fucking Wawa milkshake for f hours. It, oh my god, it was thick and it was gross, but I knew that <coughs> finally I was doing things that other people thought were um, cool and I wanted to be cool so bad. And um, then it started making me skinny and um, you know, I started nursing other people who weren't really uh, doing it like that. <laughs> but I wanted to be the best drug addict, and uh, you know, <coughs> before I know it, I was uh, dating guys to get drugs. That was that. Dating guys for drugs? Hell yeah. And a lot of people. And a lot and of what people. age did you start doing that? As soon as I started dating guys. Started young. I don't know, I started doing um, a lot of things, man. A lot of things, yeah. Um, Good job. My dad, my, dad tried to, uh, my dad tried to buy me heroin to keep me in the house. Mm -hmm. um, my stepmom was on heroin. Uh, she was shooting up. And so it was kind of like, you know, like why wouldn't you try to buy, a, buy your kid that heroin to keep her out the street? And um, I wanted to be in the street. I didn't really want the heroin. Hold on, I'm sorry. You said who? I didn't really want to be on heroin. I think I think I just wanted who to be in the buying, street. Who was supplying? My father. Your father. He's a good dude. To keep you inside, huh? Yeah. Did, were you using with him? Uh, they he using with him? Yeah. Yeah, like no. He uh him. he quit. Uh, but he dates solely drug addicts. Um. Like severe drug addicts, I don't know. Probably feeds them, huh? So, yeah. So what's your life like right now at this point? Out here in Kensington? You know what, man? I'm uh I'm extremely blessed and highly favored. First and foremost, um okay. God has blessed me very much. Right? I have all my yes. limbs and toes and my health. Yes. And um Quite frankly, I have um, I have a really great self-esteem, mm -hmm. and um, I've learned a lot of lessons that you can't buy and you can't fake. And um, let me tell you, um, I am exactly where I'm supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be amongst my peers, and I'm supposed to do what I think God's will is, and I think God's will is for me to just continuously walk a, a, a line of earnestness and and uh, prosperity, whether that be monetarily or not. Do you want to get clean? No. Why I never not? will. I'll never want to stop. That's the truth of it. And I'm probably going to die this way, and that's actually not the worst thing that could happen. I'm kind of OK with that. I just want to start. Um, what about your inventions you told me about? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I really want to do that, too. Um, you let the people know about your inventions? Yeah, the ones that, um, inventions? one is a, uh, a, a self-made contraption for undergarments. Um, and it's for a storage can, a unit and component. Uh, secondly, it would be a app, a third-party app using four different uh, residual incomes mm. for um, 
them to uh, be trans, you know, transmissive, I guess. I don't know what's the word, but I want them to continue and I want to use that app to be able to build upon having um, a revenue to be able to do something a little bit more self-sufficient, whatever, whatever that looks like. Um, That's I, beautiful. Thank you. And the, the other inventions? Um, one is, um, it's actually a sex product. And then the fourth one is a, um, is a, um, is a uh, contractable and um, like a pop-up shelter. Okay. That's beautiful too. Thanks. What gave you these ideas? These bright ideas? I don't know. I've always been really uh, clever and creative, I guess. And, um, Say that again. I'm sorry. I've always been really out. clever and creative, and that's my strong suit. Just persistent, not so much. Yeah, you're very creative. Thank you. You should stick to it, man. You got a lot to live for. Think about it. I don't know. You have any kids? No. Your family know you're out here like this? Mm hmm. Hey, do you got any family support though that want to see you off the streets? Yeah, I guess. They want to see me do good, no doubt, but I don't, uh, I don't really, really relate to them or appreciate the things that they do, or they don't really know me either, and I, uh, I appreciate their title, but I don't really equate them to that, usually. Okay. It's understandable. What's a normal day like out here for you? Um, huh. Um, a normal day is uh, pretty much I continue to work and work and work to have nothing. And um, I uh, just don't, um, I don't get the chance to rest. I've been up for, I think, six days. I haven't showered in over seven. Um, I, uh, You've been up for six days? Plus. Yeah, I just got into a car with a guy that was talking about murdering his wife, and he got mad at me that um, I wanted to turn the car around. Heck he yeah. felt like I was entitled. He was entitled to have my company. Is that just? Is that like a date or something you had no. ran into? Or that is that is legit a guy that demanded I got in his car. Say that he. That's the guy that demanded I got in his car, and I went. You got to that. Would you, would you kind of say he's a psycho or something? Psychopath? He scared the shit out of me. He scared the fuck out of me. What made you hop in his car? He demanded it. Because he demanded you. it and I had an opportunity to not have to have sex with someone to earn a little bit of monetary value. It just was some money, all money and good money and I just simply couldn't. And I guess what the guy I was with did and he ditched me with the shit. The guy you was with did what? The guy I was with, not my boyfriend or nothing, but the guy I was with, I, I told him to come with me. He stayed with him. He stayed with the dude? Yeah, half of that shit. Kind of odd to you, huh? I uh, no. Because people, that's what people do just with stuff, and I don't want to participate with things that I can't. I, I can't. I can't. I won't. I, he I won't. stayed with him to, to fulfill those Sexual. I don't know what thing. the fuck he did. Now. It's not my business or problem. Right. They're too much to carry, and I got enough. I don't know what, and I don't care. That's y'all. You gotta get up off these streets. No, I don't. I'm just where I'm supposed to be. You don't belong out here. You don't get to tell me where I do belong at all. Actually, I probably do belong out here more than more Nobody people. belongs out here. Yes, they do. This is a home to a lot of people, sir. I don't know if you knew that or not, but this is more home to me than my mom's. 
That's true. Consistent, at least. What's your thoughts on drugs? How do you feel about them? What about them? They're a tool I use as a solution to my problem. My problem ain't drugs. What's, what's your problem? I got a lot of problems, but it ain't drugs. I need no problems, but it ain't drugs. And it ain't bitches, and it ain't anything other than the things, those are the things I use to cope with them. I okay. use those things as a cheap fill to the problems that I endure. And I think my major problem is, is that I am trying to do better and just can't seem to keep a leg up. Why not try stopping? I have. You stopped using drugs? Hell yes! They right down the goddamn street. I was sitting here sober as hell. How long did you stop for? Three. Can you say that again? How long did you stop using? Three days? How did you feel? It just, it wasn't what you think it's going to be. It's a, it's a fucking regular shit that I should have been doing, I guess. Or not. I don't know. Were you sick? Was I sick? I'm asking. Am I sick? Was I, was I sick? For seven days? Yeah, honey, I was off it for three years. You know what was really sick? I was off methamphetamine, and I stayed in a psychosis so hard, I couldn't be around people for about seven months after I stopped using it. Do you, do you deal with any uh, mental, mental illnesses Not anymore. At all? The most mental thing I see every day is the fuck why I think people of uh, a good Samaritan value honestly believe that they're good people. That's the most sick shit I see, to be honest. I understand people that have issues. I don't understand that people that have issues that think that they are fucking oh, God's gift to earth. It's funny, ain't it? Are the most messy people and the most sick people I see aren't here. And uh <laughs> Where do you see yourself in the next six months, Devin? Mm -hmm. and, uh, I don't even fucking know where I'm gonna be tomorrow. Probably here, but maybe not. <laughs> I cross city lines, state lines, different sides of town, puddles, gutters, hotels. I live a lot of different ways. <laughs> I really do. What what type of drug substances do you use daily? Is it just the heroin or? Heroin, crack. That's it. Just those two? Huh? Just those two? Yeah, and I don't use them um, very um, hard. I, you might probably think I'm high now. I'm actually so sober it hurts. Um, I'm nervous. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. How are you surviving? Ah, uh, shoot. Every which way I can, dude. If it's not this and that, it's, you know, asking for a favor or um, doing what I can or jumping in the weirdos' cars, whatever. I can. I ask for a job, a regular job almost every day. Ha! Mm -hmm. <laughs> drive the people crazy or to reset them if they go crazy. <laughs> What's the craziest thing you've seen out here? The cops. I don't want to talk about it. Cops. seen anybody overdose and die? How many times? Once. Once? I've overdosed 28 times. 28? What's that, feel what's that feeling like? Peaceful. 
You actually died and came back to life? What do you think happens when you die? I, uh, you know, I don't know, but I tell you what, you could tell it's really dark. Yeah, it's getting dark. You can't think the same way that you think now. You don't think in your words. You could just observe and it's dark. It is dark as hell. And it just keeps getting darker. I'd like to thank you for your time. Peace and blessings. You've been a wonderful interviewee for me. Yes, I'm sorry. Thank you. All Time Media be praying for you. Thank you.